Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys are aware, last week I put together a video showing you guys the top three best money making methods in GTA 5 online, which a ton of you guys really seem to enjoy as there was at least one method all of you guys could grind out and make a ton of money in no time. Of course, since then, the Casino DLC has been pretty much confirmed and some of the methods in that video have changed or have been updated. So I thought I'd go ahead and put together somewhat of an updated version to that video. So as always, if this video does help you guys out in any way, shape or form and you would like to see me cover more epic money and RP guides in the future, as always, do be sure to drop a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, feel free to subscribe as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so coming in for the very first money making method and that is by completing this week's brand new time trial Which will of course earn you guys a very nice $50,000 in just a couple minutes Now if you guys do own one of the jet fueled cars like the Vigilante, the Scramjet Or even any of the new super fast motorbikes like the Shatoro, the Death Bike or even the Hakutu Drag Then you guys could easily complete this time trial very easily straight away However, I am aware that not all of you guys can afford the most expensive vehicles in the game so i thought i'd go ahead and quickly show all of you guys how you could beat this week's time trial on one of the cheapest motorbikes in the game the batty 801 which only costs around seventeen thousand dollars okay so this week's time trial is called del Perro pier and obviously as you guys can see takes place at del Perro pier however the great thing about this time trial is is extremely quick under two minutes as you guys can see as a part time of only one minute 43 seconds so you really have nothing to lose by trying out this week's new time trial nonetheless as soon as you guys arrive at the time trial all you want to do is simply press right on the d-pad so now you guys can see the finish line as soon as you can see the finish line mark it up so now you've got a waypoint to be honest with you i nearly done this time trial without any waypoint as soon as I came on you guys might be able to tell straight away that my voice sounds a bit different that's because it's like 10 a.m. in the morning I literally came on got this done within 20 minutes or so and then thought I'd try it out a few more times on different vehicles just so I can get the best on average for you guys and the reason why I was able to do this so quickly and so easily is because this time trial is practically going in a straight line a large percentage of this time trial is actually you just driving straight on a motorway so I'm pretty sure all of you guys know how to drive in a straight line and if you can't drive in a straight line then just sell your copy of GTA 5 and exit this video nonetheless as soon as you guys respawn at the time trial once you've marked it up you want to be parked up as I am so just have your front wheel out side of the circle just so you can get half a second advantage every little second counts on these time trials i'm sure you guys know now rev your engine to about 70 percent so you don't want to be fully revving it to 100 percent because then you guys will skid start you don't want to do that you want to get a nice clean start as i do on screen so as soon as you start the time trial you just want to pop a wheelie for this entire straight all the way to the end of this road and then you want to take an immediate right and then your first left just have that implanted in your brain as you guys can see i whacked off a little stop sign there you are able to hold an entire wheelie for this entire straight so if you don't feel happy with your start just hold down respawn and retry the race you don't lose out any money by respawning and like I said because it's right at the start of the time trial you guys will practically only be losing out in five or six seconds however as I mentioned you want to take an immediate left onto this motorway once you guys are on the motorway lean forward by holding A or X on the PlayStation then cross over onto this side of the road once you guys are on this side of the road just hold a wheelie for as long as you can now you guys should notice you're past the Arcadius building on the right of me as soon as you see that you want to cross back over to the left side of the road and you want to take this left road up onto the main street and as i mentioned if you guys can't do wheelies just lean forward as you can see me doing on screen you can actually just do this by leaning your analog stick forward or i would suggest holding down a or x on the playstation and as i mentioned in the intro one of the greatest things about this time trial is the turns are so goddamn wide as you can see they're like four or five lane motorways so you don't really have to use your brake when you're making these turns if you are going to brake and you don't feel like comfortable on your turning always use your hand brakes so you can kind of like skid or drift on your bike so you can just pick up your speed instantly again as you can see this time right here if you do end up doing a drift turn just pull a wheelie as soon as you finish the turn so you can just pick up the pace again so at this point i was fairly confident by now i knew i was going to complete the time trial when you get onto this dirt path this dirt path is very dodgy like the turns can look like illusions as you can see right here i ended up clipping off a rock wasting about two seconds there because it took me a couple of seconds to pick my pace back up so what you want to do with this part is just take your time there is no rush for this part just stay central on the road and take an immediate left and you guys will see the finish line right there bang 51k as easy as that 
However, coming in for the second best money making method, and that is by grinding out the double money and double RP currently being offered on the missile base adversary modes. And by far the best mode to grind out in this missile base series is the game mode known as Slasher, as you guys can earn a ton of money very very quickly now of course this is an adversary mode so you guys will need players to grind this method out with so do be sure to leave a comment underneath this video followed by your game attack or your psn and you might be better off leaving whether or not you use a mic because i know certain players only like to play with other players who've got mic but i guarantee as long as all of you guys watch this video all the way through you'll be able to come on straight away you won't even need a mic you'll all know what to do straight away so it's so goddamn easy and straightforward now also once you guys have left a comment on this video if you're also looking for an active gta 5 crew i will leave a link to all five of my crews down low in the description two of the crews are for players that play on all platforms they are laser gang and laser gaming crew so if you guys are looking for a multi-platform crew go ahead and join one of those two crews however if you guys are looking for a crew based on that platform i have three other crews laser gaming x1 for the xbox one players laser gaming ps4 for the ps4 players and laser gaming pc for the pc members now as i'm sure a lot of you guys might be aware that i've been trying to get into my crew recently they have been filling up extremely quickly whenever i upload a video like i'll kick 200 members and i'll check the video in about 20 minutes and that's filled up already so what i'm going to do is right at the end of this video i'm going to be announcing some major changes to do for one of the new crews that all of you guys should be able to get into straight away so like i said don't worry if you guys can't get in the crew as of right now while you're watching this watch the video right until the end and i guarantee there'll be a spot ready for one of you guys whenever you like however if this video does help you guys out in any way shape or form and you do want to see me cover more epic money and rp guides in the future all i ask is your show support by dropping a like down below and feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos without further ado let's get into the video so in this video i will cover the method to earn you guys the most amount of money in the shortest period of time but i will also be covering how to earn the biggest payout per game as well as how to earn all the bonuses which can make a massive difference to your final payout plus taking into account all the factors like how easy it is to actually grind however once you guys are in this setup menu you want to make sure you put it on four rounds this will make much more sense later on the video however you want to make sure you've got it on four rounds and then simply go ahead and invite one other friend into the game and launch it up now once you guys guys start the game up it's going to give you the option to be either the hunted or the slasher i've seen a lot of people getting confused in my comment section thinking this was the reason why they haven't been able to earn such good money don't worry you can be on any team that isn't going to make a difference to your payout simply go ahead and ready up Okay, so first things first i'm going to show you guys how you can earn the biggest payout per game and i'm going to break down how you guys can make it so you earn the most amount of money depending on how long you guys spend on the game so first things first i know a lot of people have been asking me they've been trying to do the overtime shootout method with the slasher and that isn't going to work it might work if both of you want to go afk and earn exactly the same amount of money but if you're both looking to earn the most amount of money in the shortest period of time this really isn't the method to go and just to prove to you guys as you guys can see right here once the timer runs out it is going to go into overtime just like the overtime shootout however once this overtime ends bang as you guys can see right here you'll receive another three minutes and extra time and if no one goes on to kill anyone the person who was the hunted first will receive the round win however you're both going to receive exactly the same amount which is only eight thousand dollars now of course eight thousand dollars for only six minutes of work is good but it's not those epic figures that i'm usually looking for when grinding money so as you guys can see we both receive eight thousand dollars however my friend ends up receiving the win for the round and i received nothing of course if both of you were like watching a movie in the background or one of you was going to go out and you just tied an elastic band around your control and left it there by all means that would be an okay method to grind however what you guys actually want to do is just wait until the five minute mark passes in the game so as you guys can see on screen we're moving into round two now and all we want to do is basically make sure that five minutes passes in the game and then my friend can kill me which will be earning him sixteen thousand dollars and i'll be receiving 8k for literally doing nothing now my friend is actually going to be earning more than 16k however it's not going to show up just yet because he's going to be earning the rest in bonuses which i'm going to explain later on in the video so far 
fast forward in this gameplay as you guys can see you get three minutes to start off the main round as soon as that three minutes passes you want to give it another two minutes into the extra time and then your friend can go ahead and kill you and then bang as you guys can see we actually spent less time in this round than round one and still managed to double his money now by my friend winning round one and then winning round two straight after round one he's going to be earning something called a winner's round bonus and this will actually make a massive difference to the final payout that you guys do receive at the end of the game i did see a few people in last week's money making method saying i like to win one round and let my friend win one round and i like to win one round and you was wondering why you wasn't receiving as much as me that's because you guys were not earning the winner's round bonus if you don't follow exactly what i tell you in the video then you're not going to be earning exactly what i earn in the video but then again saying that it was only like five people that did say that in the comment section when thousands of people was grinding it properly so here you can see a graph that i put together showing you guys exactly how much you guys are going to be earning by winning the rounds back to back so as you guys can see i actually made this graph when it wasn't double money and double rp just so people don't get confused in case you guys come back to this video once the promotion has ended but it's very clear to see once you guys win two rounds that means one after the other you'll be receiving a bonus on top of your winnings of 12,940 by winning three rounds back to back that's going to increase up to just under 20,000 then if you guys go ahead and win four rounds back to back it's going to give you guys a total bonus of 26k now that is without the double money and double rp promotion so to earn the biggest payout from a single game of this slash adversary mode would be for me to go afk as you guys can see on screen right now i just tied an elastic band around my control pad so i don't get kicked for inactivity and because my friend has already won the previous two rounds i can go ahead and let him win the third round that way he's going to be earning three round bonuses and then i can go ahead and win the four remaining rounds if you guys remember we put it on the first to win four rounds and not the best out of four rounds which means we can play a total of seven rounds per game so i'll be able to go afk for the first three rounds and still receive the losers winnings and then i can go ahead and win the next four rounds back to back and win all of the winners round bonuses it should take my total to easily around 140k per game as you guys can see on screen right here i go ahead and win the final round and bang 140k per game as well as an insane 12,000 rp Chai! you guys really have no reason to complain of figures like that now like i said that would be a good method if one of you is kind of going afk and you're eating your dinner or you want to watch some of my youtube videos however like i said right at the start of the video you guys can earn up to 92k every 20 minutes now what you guys actually want to do is just let one of you go ahead and win the first four rounds straight away back to back so as you guys can see right here as soon as five minutes passes in a round i go ahead and kill my friend and then i go ahead and repeat this for three more rounds and what you guys might be thinking is i'm getting less money for this game than i got for the previous game that's because i'm not getting the losers winnings however it's saving me much more time in the long run because if you guys think about it because we're only spending five minutes per round five times four is only 20 minutes and we'll be earning like i said 92k because we're earning 16k per round that will take our total normal earnings to around 64k but because we're earning that 28k for doing nothing like i said we're going to be earning ninety two thousand dollars per game and because we literally don't need our friend to do anything he can go 100 afk and let us just do all the work for this game then he can repeat the process for the next game and you can literally just keep taking it in turns so fast forwarding this gameplay on a bit as you guys can see right here we're in the fourth and final round i go ahead and win it and bang only took me 20 minutes to complete this map and i receive an insane ninety two thousand dollars as well as over eight thousand rp for only 20 minutes of work boys and i even rank up whilst i was playing this however moving on to the third best money making method and before i get into the third best money making method of course it is worth mentioning rockstar games are also offering a ton of epic money promotions based around the free roam work so if you guys do own a hangar right now is the time to be selling that as you guys will be getting triple money from doing so you guys will also be getting double money from all of your bunkers cargo warehouses and mc businesses so if you guys own any of those businesses right now is the time to be selling getting onto the third and final best money making method in this video and of course that is by grinding out the client jobs which are also offering double money and double rp now i have done a video 
fully breaking down all of the client jobs and how you guys can beat them in the quickest way possible. However, I thought I'd quickly just break down by far what I think is the best mission to be grinding out. It can be done in around five minutes and will earn you guys around $60,000. So you really have no reason to complain. Client jobs can be done in free roam and they can also be done solo. Now I have already put together a video fully breaking down all of the client jobs and how you can complete them in the easiest way. So I will leave a link to that video down low. However, I will say there is one client job that I personally think stands out way above the rest and that's one called a robbery in progress. As you guys will see, it's an extremely easy client job that pays out a ton of money and can literally be done in under five minutes. I think I average completing this around two to three minutes. But as you guys can see, once you guys launch the mission, all you have to do is go over to your touch screen, scroll through all of the banks in the game. Once you guys locate the bank where a robbery is taking place, simply make your way over to that location. Simply go ahead and kill both of the robbers, kill a few cops if they are getting in your way, and then simply call Lester to remove the cops. And that is the mission done. And as you guys can see in the top, you receive an absolutely stupid payout for such an easy mission mission you guys will really be dumb not to be making the most of these so if you guys don't own a terabyte do be sure to leave a comment down below and say need player with terabyte nonetheless that is going to do it for me guys i'm not going to lie boys this video has taken me a while to put together so all i ask is you guys do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here feel free to subscribe as i do post daily red dead 2 and gta 5 videos and i'll see you guys in my next video Peace.